The big news is that Midjourney has finally released their video creator. Here's why this is important and such a game changer. Now, any user can take images like these and others and in about 10 minutes, make a video just like this. Here's where you take a single image that you created and animate it as a 480p video file. You could use your videos and link them together in another software to form your own short movie, just like we did here. Is this Tiger video perfect? Certainly not. But hey, it's about 15 minutes of effort and I'm certainly not a movie director. Image animation is now available for all Midjourney users, but can only be accessed on the Midjourney web interface. So Discord users are going to need to switch. Are you ready to see how this works in Midjourney? If you're jumping in, I highly recommend you animate a few of your files you've already created. It's ridiculously fun. Let me show you a few I've created and then we're gonna do a few from scratch. So here we are in Midjourney and I've got a whole bunch of videos I've been playing with and um, I've tried a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna show you some things that I think are really gonna blow you away. First, just scrolling from the last things I created, I made an image of some bison, right? And so we can get bisons walking, right? And then how it works is, of course, Midjourney gives you four images to pick from, and then you can pick which one you want. What's really great about this is when you get your images, for example, this one, right? You can see that all the images are different. And, you know, there are only a couple seconds, like four or five seconds. But here's the thing. You can extend it. OK, if I wanted to extend these to create the longer video with the bison doing something, I just click the button and it instantly extends it from where it left off. So I tried a bunch of stuff. Here is a chrome skull I made. And of course, it rotates it. OK, and I'm going to show you how to give it some instructions here in a minute. But uh, when you just do auto, it just does it whatever it wants. When you do manual, you can type in some instructions and give it a little help about what you want. And here's the example of extended a video. And this is the extension of this first one. But you can see they're all different. See the, the visor comes down on this girl and this girl, she turns her head like she's breaking her neck. I don't know what's up with that. But um, I really like this one, right? Look at her eyes. Look at how she does stuff. It's kind of interesting, okay? So here are background textures, right? Maybe you make uh, videos or animations for some of your clients. You can see that these are all different. You know, this one, the gradient stays the same, but the texture grows and morphs. This one, the thing just moves from left to right. And this one uh, kind of has a wavy look, right? They're all kind of different. Here's another one where it's just a, uh, a pattern, right? And you can see it kind of gives you that flyover kind of look. And speaking of flyovers, here's the spaceship that I did, right? And all of these are different is we've got a bear having a, a breakfast with a bunny, right? A little in the, in the uh, woods, right? And this one has the bear having some uh, hot tea and, uh, you know, he's got smoke coming out of his mouth. And other ones, you know, the bunny jumps up and uh, like grab stuff out of the plate. And we'll show that real quick, right? I didn't ask for that. That's just what it does. I've got wolves howling but sometimes it doesn't do a good job. Here is a steaming mug of coffee, but on some of these, I'm getting bubbles, <laughs> right? And if you're a coffee drinker like me, you don't want bubbles. We all know that Midjourney kind of uh, has problems with hands and uh, that's true in video also, so let's we'll see that. So this one right here gives it a little of extra fingers, but of the four, that's the only one that had a problem. The other ones kind of look okay. And as you can see, I've got all types of different things, skulls with flames, which are really cool. Show those. But let me show you my favorite, and it's this one right here, is this cute dog. 
So imagine you're creating your own cartoon. You're doing something, right? This is probably why Disney is suing Midjourney because now people can make their own cartoons that don't have to steal from Disney. We can make our own puppy and do our own puppy cartoon doing stuff, right? Very interesting. Next, as promised, let's create something from scratch and then animate it. We showed you a tiger, so how about a lion? But not just any lion. Let's make it a cute bobblehead lion, which is gonna be really fun to animate. All right, so let's create our own image. I'm sure you're interested uh, about all the stuff I created, but let's do something from scratch and you can see what's going on, right? So I'm gonna paste in a prompt that I've already got uh, set up. This is the lion bobblehead action pose, chibi style, uh, and I've got a whole bunch of prompts right now. I wanna make sure you understand I'm also using an SREF code because I wanna show you that you can use that. And let's go ahead and use my personality profile, right? This is the profile that I've made of stuff that I like. So I wanna show you that this can influence your videos also. So all of the mid-journey tools that you use come to bear when you make your videos. And that's what's really great about this, right? And so we're first gonna make an image, right? That's the first step is to make an image. And because uh, we never know what mid-journey is gonna give us, I usually start off with repeat. I like to make a bunch of images at once. And so we're gonna make, instead of just one go with four images, we're gonna do repeat four and make 16. And let's do that. And we're gonna pick our favorite one of these to animate, right? And they're all different. And we're looking for a fun bobblehead, right? So we've got 16 of these. Which one do you like the best? I like that one, that one's cool. I kind of like this one right here. What do you think? Is this the one we wanna use? I think it is, right? So before you could hit very subtle, very strong, now you've got animate and I can animate right from here. So let's start that, right? But I wanna show you the tools here. So we can do animate and when we click that, you can see I got my little one here. That means it's the low motion one for auto, okay? And if you need a description, it tells you what it is. So let's also do high motion. And then let's also do manual. Now here's where you can give it some direction. So we'll do low motion manual and you can see that it puts the prompt in, okay? Now, we don't need all of this, but we're gonna do two versions. We're gonna do the lion bobblehead and we're gonna do him uh, running, if I can spell it correctly, running, all right? Now, we'll do high motion and let's delete all this also. And we're gonna do uh, jumping and hit go. Now, let's see what we did. Okay, now uh, we obviously sped that up. It takes a couple minutes to make a bunch of these, right? So depending on the plan that you have with Midjourney, it's not gonna be this fast, but you know, who's got all day in a video right here to watch this stuff, right? So let's see what we created. I'm just gonna scroll down to our, our first one that we made. Remember, we clicked the image in the middle, right? Uh, you know, just right here to make this video. This is the auto low uh, animation. And we didn't give it any instructions. This is just mid journey doing its thing. And you can see that all of these are different, okay? now. Here's the high, motion high. And you can see, you know, this guy's turning around, they're doing some crazy stuff, right? So imagine you wanted to make a video of this bobblehead doing stuff. You could probably use a couple of these, two or three of these, and string them together, right? Because they're all slightly a little different, okay? And then here's the one where we asked Mid Journey to give the guy running, right? So this was low motion, right? And we said, hey, we want you to run. See, the guy's running. Now here is the same bobblehead with we wanted jumping. 
This is high motion jumping, and you can see they're all different. You know, this guy here waves his arms a little bit. This guy's jumping up and down like he's celebrating. This guy's like pausing in midair, matrix style, spinning around a little bit, right? Very fun, okay? So how could you use this? How could you use this? Here's what I wanna show you, right? So if we go back to our original image, and let's find that guy, and here's our original bobblehead picture that we made the videos from. So let's say we want to do something different, but we want it to make it look the same because we're making a big video, right? We're doing a bunch of stuff. Here's the trick. You can go to prompt, right? We can also use this image. So just click image. Now remember, we're making another image from scratch, right? So we're going to use this as a style reference, okay? Now, instead of a lion, let's do another animal. Let's say it's a uh, elephant. So let's just type in elephant, okay? Now, here's the trick. You go over here to seed, copy, seed, right? Now, what this does is this creates the image. Now, it's gonna give us four images. Only one of them is gonna look like this one, the same style. And you just type in S-E-E-D and paste that in. Here's our image. Let's use this guy, okay? Because he's cute. Now, here's where we can animate it just like the lion, okay? So let's say we wanted high motion and we want him jumping. And let's do another one. High motion again, just because. You can do whatever you want. There's no restrictions here. Let's do laughing, because why not? Okay, now we've created our videos. Let's take a look at them now. Here's our elephant jumping. Okay, now remember we're trying to make the lion's friend, okay? And we're just making something that looks similar. And then this is the elephant laughing. Which one of these you like the best? Look at this one. He's got little baby tusks. <laughs> we didn't ask for that. That's just what it created, all right? So I'm very curious because this just came out. How do you think this is gonna revolutionize the creative industry? How could you use this in your work? You know, this is a background. This is an animation. This is something you're creating for your clients or for your blog or for whatever you do, I think this is gonna really impact and revolutionize a lot of stuff. So I would love to hear all about that. Drop that into the comments. Need help with this? Hey, that's what we're here for. Drop a comment below, or if you really wanna accelerate your mid-journey learning, join our school community. We're focused on helping creators master mid-journey in their work. The link is in the description as always. See you there. Thanks for watching.